Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. As always, I am Technomagus, and we are continuing our run through all the villains on advanced mode. So last week I realized, after I finished the um, Chairman and the Matriarch, I had completely skipped over the Infernal Relics villains uh, while going for the next advanced mode. So we're going to jump back and start fighting them now. But before I do that, just a quick little segue. Um... Right now, with two weeks left to go, the Oblivion Kickstarter for the final expansion of Sentinels of the Multiverse is at $978,357, less than $22,000 away from getting that final stretch goal, so definitely if you want to get in on this wonderful game, now is a great time, and try and get it there before the weekend to see if we can get even more cool stuff. Might happen, might not, I don't know. But anyway... Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be going after Gloomweaver today. So Gloomweaver, um, as you might remember, is a complete and utter pushover in normal mode. In advanced mode, he becomes immune to melee and projectile damage, which is potentially dangerous. I mean, it makes it just a little bit harder to hit him, but I mean, other than that, it's, it's Gloomweaver. What else do we have to worry about? Now, should he ever somehow manage to get to this side that does not actually exist, he will hit the... he will deal f uh, damage equal to the amount of heroes in play to the hero with the lowest HP. Of course, that actually requires some flipping. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright. <clears throat> now, as for the heroes that we'll be using to fight Gloomweaver, uh, let's go ahead and bring Nightmist along because, you know, rivals. <laughs> And then, uh, we can also bring along... Well, I mean, okay. Gloomweaver Advanced is about as difficult as Gloomweaver Regular. Um, with the exception that you can't really use projectile and melee, so... It, most of the heroes here don't really have that big of a deal with it. So let's bring along Ra, let's bring along... Hmm, let's bring along Arch and Adept. And... Omnitron. Note, I am not bringing along a Tachyon or a Legacy this time, because you really don't need them. As for the environment where we will be fighting Gloomweaver, let's fight him at... Hmm, that's a good place. Um, well, let's go to... Silver Gulch. Eh, actually, no. Silver Gulch is all projectile because of the gunman. Um, yeah, let's just go to the Realm of Discord. This is a fun place, with all its distortions and craziness, and it's also supposed to be where Gloomweaver's from, I believe. Alright, let's get started. So, in advanced mode, Gloomweaver still has the crippling disability that if you get all three of his relics into the discard pile, he automatically loses. zombies right now. Seems good. Uh, what do we have? We have a three and a two. So, the two will go to everyone. And clear out all the zombies. Everybody's going to take a little bit of damage. That'll be fine. And then these two guys are going to take three damage each. And let's draw some cards. Because Night Mist likes to draw cards. Oh, great. Another Oblivion. Alright, so... Staff of Ra... Into... Get rid of Ophidia. This game is probably going to go very quickly. Um... Okay... Have a whole lot to do, so guess what? Whoa. Our Nadef's gonna do something he never does damage. Alright, um, 
has for Omnitron. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get one of his components out. And let's peek at Gloomweaver. Uh, yeah, we'll just trash that. Don't need to deal with any pins. Alright, everybody's taking damage. That's fine. And what does Gloomweaver get out? Gloomweaver gets out a Chosen Disciple, which is going to bring back the zombies. Kind of annoying, but... tolerable. Because, I mean, I have another Oblivion, so I'm just going to blast them all again. Alright, so what do we have? We have a 3 and a 1, so the 1 will go to everyone. And then the 3 will go to all the bad guys. And draw some more cards. Oh, there's that amulet that I needed. <laughs> oh, great. And another Oblivion. I think I'm just going to be oblivioning all game long. Alright, so... Zap Gloomweaver for a bunch of damage. And then burn away the Disciple. Gloomweaver brings back a zombie, because a Disciple got killed, which is fine. This is fine. Now we'll save the Vernal Sonata for a little bit. Whoa. And we'll just pick off the Zombie Servant. Um, what does this guy do exactly again? To the X non environment targets with the highest HP. So I'm just going to leave this on one, because it's just going to keep paying Gloomweaver until I get rid of it. Uh, so we'll heal Omnitron, we'll heal Night Mist, and we'll heal Argent Adept. Let's throw out Chassis and peek at Gloomweaver. What do you got coming up? The Zombie Servant. Uh, get rid of that. Alright, another Explosive Bubbles. Yay. Gloomweaver and choose for me. Everybody's gonna take damage. Except for Omnitron, because his plating reduces damage. Or reduces energy damage. Ugh. Well, that's annoying. Alright. Hmm. We're in a little low on health. So, we will Amulet of the Elder Gods, and then Cycle. Pitch some cards. Let's pitch off this Planner Banishment. And what was this one? Scouring Mist. Eh, yeah. Scouring Mist can go away. Redirect the damage to... Acolyte. Uh, do I want... No. Bra's just gonna burn away the Acolyte. With this extra little flame spike he's got. So, six damage to Ronway. Get out of here. Get your zombie. And... Burn Gloomweaver for another three. Search the deck, and we want a Punku's Drum, because it's accompany a rhythm and perform a melody. So we can go deal one Sonic to this bubble, and then cold and fire to the zombie. Get rid of it. healing. And we will... Eh, 
let's flip through time. So, peek at Gloomweaver. Trash the first relic. Alright, so now we are on the end of turn, so we get to slip through time, so let's reset into bioengineering beam. And then beam away the larger explosive bubbles to ping Gloomweaver for two damage. Oh look, a portal fiend. It does nothing. Oh, eh, well, we got one of the relics came out. That's unfortunate. Alright, so... What do we have? Um, I think I want to focus fire on that drum for a bit. So let's Oblivion. What do we have? We've got a 3 and a 2. So the 2 is going to go to everybody. Discard two cards, discard, uh, call forth, and, hmm, uh, discard the necklace, sure. Redirect the drum. Actually, at this rate, I might just end up killing Gloomweaver straight up with damage before I even have to worry about the... Uh, before I even have to worry about the relics. But the relics are still annoying, and I'd rather not have to deal with them if I can avoid it. So let's Fire Blast. Drum for another six. Then burn it for another three. stuff to do, actually. Well, we can Vernal Sonata, heal everybody up. Alright. Night Mist can get back her Oblivion. Rock can get back Fire Blast. can't believe I drew all three of those already. And Omnitron will get back his reset. Drum's almost down, just need to deal six more damage to it. <laughs> oh, which I can do during Omnitron's turn. Alright, cool. Heal. And heal. Alright, that means that the Portal Fiend will be staying in play, which is a little unfortunate, but that's fine. Alright, peek at Ra. Put it into play. And boom goes the drum. Alright, so Portal Fiend is going to deal two damage to somebody, so we'll have it deal to Omnitron. Doesn't really matter. Oh, all damage is plus one. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything that actually deals damage coming out. Of course. That's fine. We're fine. Yes, we want to pitch two cards. We want to pitch... Uh, Mistbound and a... Misfueled Recovery? Now we can pitch an Enlightenment. It's fine. And redirect the damage to... When we were himself? Or the Acolyte? Hmm. And we'll just redirect to the Acolyte. Wow, I should have had Omnitron take damage first. Oh well. Oh jeez, the zombies hit the environment too? That's... that's kind of sad, actually. Alright. So... Night Mist is running a little low on health, so we're just going to heal... her up. She'll be fine. Alright, so... let's see here... Um... Yeah, 
right, let's just burn to the face. And we do not want to take five psychic damage. Actually, six. That would be bad. Alright, uh, let's see here. What are my options? Well, we'll just throw out... Actually. Alright, so let's see. I'll take three damage, but I can then activate a power. Which I could use to perform Onslaught and boost damage to... Uh... Nah, I'd rather hold off on that just yet. So let's just play the drum. Deal one sonic damage to the zombie servant. And then two cold and two fire to the weaver. Heal some. Reset. Ooh, rocket punch. But I'd rather peek at Gloomweaver and see. Yep, we'll get rid of that pin. I mean, if I can just get him to his final relic and just beat him down. Yes, I would like to discard two cards. Um, let's discard Astral Premonition and Call Forth and deal three more damage to Gloomy. Ooh. That card is a bit annoying. Villain damage is down one, but we if we play a card, we skip our power phase, we... Otherwise, we can use a power during power space. So, let's see. What does this one do again? At the end of the hero's turn, Gloomweaver deals them two irreducible damage. Hmm. Let's go ahead and lock Gloom Weaver's deck for a turn. Night Miss is going to take three damage because she, because I don't have, uh, I don't have enough cards to discard to redirect it, which is unfortunate. All right, so let's go Inferno. Tag Gloom Weaver for four. And then deal two damage to each of these other guys. Alright, now this is awkward because I don't actually have a way of getting rid of that until Omnitron's powers phase. So what I'll do instead is... Hmm... Well, let's Silver Shadow. Gain some health back. And... Actually play a card. Use Polyphoric Flare. So, Ardenadept hits himself for two. But now I get to immediately activate a power. So we will perform... Supertonic. To let... Omnitron use a power... Biobeam, get rid of time crawls, and deal two damage to Gloomweaver. Alright! Progress. Alright, let's deal one damage. Ah, oh, we'll just go straight for Gloomweaver. Might as well. He's in range.
Okay, so now we need to start actually healing, though. So, uh, raw, and give it to Omnitron. Let's throw out Disruptive Flechettes, sure. Uh, no cards destroyed, and just hit everybody for... Oh, right, he's immune to projectile. Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, so I can't, I can't actually rocket punch him, then. So instead, I'm just going to peek at his top card, because he can't play any cards this turn, and get rid of that vast following that would have come out in two turns, and made me very sad. Uh, second highest HP can be... Oh, wait, I don't have a second card. Um, no, it can be Omnitron, sure. So now all ongoings and equipment are six health targets, which is a little awkward, not gonna lie. Alright, what does this do again? Deals that card, and star number, disrupts that card's ongoing and environment, put, and then everything else. Eh, skip. So that's the thing. If I if I use Nightmist Power, um, and I choose decline to redirect the damage, the damage that Gloom Weaver is going to deal to her, I won't be able to redirect. I'm going to do it anyway, because Nightmist needs cards right now, and it'll only it'll put her to eight. She'll be fine. <laughs> So, now, let's see. Get raw some options. Alright, Flame Spike. I like that. So, we'll tag Gloomweaver. Actually, no. Let's get rid of this Crimson Pin. Sequencing is very important, because if I were to use the Staff of Ra's power first, it blows itself up, and then I won't have it to throw it. Oh, right, projectile damage. That's fine. Kill the portal fiend. Oh, kill the portal fiend on Arjun Adep's turn. Alright, so now... Let's see here. You can play the harp. And then we will let Arjun Adept use a power... Play the drum. Deal one sonic damage to the portal fiend to get rid of it. And then deal two more damage to Gloomweaver because I can. And heal. Alright, so now. Omnitron, heal Night Mist, and heal Raw. Should probably have he healed Arjunata, but it's okay. Alright, play Reset. Uh, Coil Blaster. Yeah, sure, we'll throw that out there. And then let's peek at Gloomweaver. And oh look, it's the last relic we just won. Alright. Oh no! Gloomweaver's relics are in the trash! Game over! <laughs> and this is why Gloomweaver is not a challenge. Alright, so that's it for the first game of the night. I will be back in just a few minutes, and we will set up for the next one. See you in a little bit.